Argentina here with the Game of Argentine Tango, and we're taking a moment to answer the most popular questions that we get from our students and ask to us online. Today's question is, how do I get better at Argentine Tango? Work, work, work. <laughs> There's no, there's no shortcuts. There is no secrets. There, it is like any other skill worth learning. It takes time, and it takes regular practice. Mm -hmm. and there are ways that we've uh, talked about, and we'll revisit here, to make it easier. Mm -hmm. Where uh, there are lots of things that we can do to fit it into our daily activity. Argentine tango can become sort of a, a way of life, that it's the way that we move through life. We move in a, a tango way. In our own uh, game of Argentine Tango, which you can access for free at gameoftango.com, we have uh, lots of ideas about that. Even, for example, learning to dissociate by setting the groceries down on the counter without walking That's straight up one. to it. Mm -hmm. but Dissociating. Yes. So, A, if you're looking for ways to practice literally throughout your daily life, head on over to GameTango.com. We have tons of ideas. But I think at the end of the day, our us as a society, we want that instant satisfaction. We want that immediate result. We, Gratification. Yeah, absolutely. And I think just acknowledging that that is not possible when it comes to a skill that you need to be able to execute without thinking. That's where we want to get to, to get out onto the dance floor with a partner, dance three to four songs in one tanta with them, and walk away feeling good about what we just created. But we don't we don't get there overnight, you know? So that's the the first thing to really just just wrap your arms around it and just embrace it. It's going to take well over a year to get to the point of um, really really feeling comfortable on the right dance floor. Right, you are. As as Tina says, in any skill-based activity, we want to reach eventually, uh, hopefully sooner than later that ideal state of flow. Yes. Where, as you say, we're not having to think about every single step. Am I holding myself right? Am I holding my partner right? And so on. And that simply comes from having good experiences, getting good feedback so that we know that we're doing it right, mm -hmm. and then building in that muscle memory where we can flow through the dance. Mm -hmm. So if you are truly looking to become a good tango dancer, hitting up your tango activities in your town, whether it's taking group classes, private lessons, going to the practicas, and then, even though it might be a little bit scary, going to the milongas, but doing those things on a regular basis, we cannot improve if we attend one group class once a week. Right, because all too often you've forgotten what you learned the last time, and then it's about you know reviewing that before you get to move forward. So by showing up to each of those group classes and each of those private lessons, having done your solo work in between and improved your own skill on your own time, that's when you're really going to start to see the the really steep uh, increase in mm -hmm. skill ability. Right. The bigger investment that you can make, the bigger the reward. Absolutely. And once again, if you don't have access to a good com tango community where you live, you don't have access to instructors or classes, you always have access to us at gameoftango.com. It is free, and it is something that you can improve your tango all from the comfort of your own home, whenever the mood strikes you. Sounds great. <laughs> So keep at it, keep working, 10 to 15 minutes a day, we'll definitely see a lot of gains in the near future. And until you're ready to hit the Milonga dance floor, we send you abrazos. abrazos.